Welcome back to the final um, video of my mock. Uh, I'm going to call it part three. I was hoping for part four, but to be honest to you, um, it's taken up a hell of a lot of time to actually try and build this mock and get it up to the standard that I want it to be. Um, I'm still waiting for a couple of orders, um, which they're getting delayed. So it's it's then going to delay it like a couple of weeks. Um, just mini figs and another a wing um as you can tell i've got a bit of a cold um so i'll try and get through this video swiftly um one other reason as well is i thought it would do so much better um on socials but i think people like obviously this is my first mock so going from like the standard that you see people on YouTube like building these crazy mocks and taking them to conventions compared to this one that's built on a desk for the first time it's just not as you know hard hitting as I thought it would be um and I've just finished I don't know well whilst filming this video now I've finished a couple of hours ago and at the end of it I was just getting a bit like like it's it's awesome to like think oh, all right i'm gonna build a mock and get into it but unless you've got the time the you know like i should have planned it out to start it in a couple of months when i've got everything ordered in and you know to actually get it to the standard that i want i wanted to tile everything off but you know you're looking like over 100 quid just to tile it off um and the position that i'm in now i don't particularly want to be spending 100 pound on tiles that I can't see myself using again uh, so I'm going to go through the mock now um, I have put a couple of easter eggs in and I have put a bit of my own personality into the mock and you know how I create mocks and what I think looks cool as well so I hope you guys can you know see that throughout the mock um, but apart from that yeah I think for me as a lego collector um, with the time that I have so I started a, a, I started a full time job. Um, I won't tell you the day because it's it'll be messed up with when this video comes out. But and that is going to be taking up a hell of a lot of hours uh, throughout most of my days. And then the days that I do have off, you know, I've got time to buy some Lego, build it, and display it. But not the time to go and build these crazy mucks. Um, also have a family as well, so make sure that I've got enough time for them because that's way more important. Um, but my actual love for let go as well is it's the building displaying it I, I just love displaying it and then you know a couple of months time taking it all down and then put like displaying it in a different way and that's why i get fun out of building um and displaying the lego and well of course buying it as well but bank account says no for a little bit um well i say a little bit i've, I've got orders on the way and obviously with reference coming out in may and yeah this year it's just going to be it's gonna be a crazy one but yeah as for mocks i just don't i thought i'd like build it and then like every part one two three would take like, a couple of hours of filming the muck but the, the, i just don't have the time for it and i've just fallen out of wanting to you know really get into it as much as i thought i would so this is what i've got so far this is what i've done now this is what i'm going to say is complete um and then maybe in the future when i've got bit more space a bit more time i will properly go into building um another mock because i do have so many ideas in my head of what i'd love to build but i might do like a couple um just like little couple like you know like three or four figures and maybe like half a ship or you know you see these ones online where they're just like a little square and then they build up on the square um I might go into doing a couple of them to be fair because look when I started the mark I was really really enjoying it but it, yeah the more I'm doing it I'm just like oh, I'd so much prefer to use this stuff that I've bought and display it in such a cooler way um, like with all the X-Wings and everything flying like in a little in a group so yeah I'm going to show you through the mark now and uh, I hope you spot all the easter eggs out I think there's there's two easter eggs um again didn't have time to fully go into making loads of easter eggs but yeah this is the mock now so i'm just going to quickly say that i was actually going to go and uh, buy two more base plates there and two more there but 
I have put that on hold because, again, I don't particularly want to be going any more into this. Um, so yeah, let's start off with this X-Wing at the start. Um, look, I'm so happy with how bits of this are made. You know, I looked at some uh, pictures on Google with like how Rebel Hangar looks, and they have these little yellow markings all around. Don't have many yellow bricks, but I basically did it so where that would mark where the ship would be landed and parked up, ready to, you know, have the repairs done and then fly back out. So, yeah, it's the it's the minor details like this that I'm really happy with. You know, like I built this out of just imagination and the little ladder and the little pad going up to the X-wing for them to board. But in this case, they are exiting the ship. Um, this is actually a fake Lego Millennium, uh, Millennium Falcon, fake Lego X-Wing. Um, I got sent this last year to review um, next to the real Lego one. And look, it does the job. I'm really happy with it. Obviously you won't get the sticker pieces so they just swap out for titles, but yeah, it looks pretty awesome. And it's nice to have in the mark as well. Cause look, I'm a fan of fake Lego. It's not a rip off. If fake Lego can do just as good or better than lego itself then i will 100 percent go and buy that um or in this case when i get given it to me then yeah heck why not keep it it's it's awesome so yeah we've got a couple of rebels exiting the um x-wing exiting the x-wing that sounds horrible just they're coming out of the x-wing yeah um and then we'll go over to the bit where i decided to kind of stop um, so we've got a couple of pipes coming through the um, Rebel Hangar, a couple of figures like doing their little thing, a couple of Hoth Troopers just chilling. I was going to eventually build like a little Hoth cave because I, I was going to make this actually Hoth um, because I've got so many little Hoth Rebel Troopers that look really cool. So yeah, and I like the thought of like the snow coming into the muck. Um, that would have been pretty cool. But again, yeah. Maybe in the future, maybe in the future. But yeah, we've got the Rebels doing some little work and looking busy as usual. We have got BB-8 with Ray. She's just come in from a mission or some sort. This is one of the new A-Wings that I got, um, that I went out and bought. The other one has not arrived yet, unfortunately. It says about two weeks time, which is rather annoying. But yeah, here's what it is. I really like this A-Wing, by the way. It is absolutely tiny. Like, it's so small, but it really does the job. It looks so cool next to the X-Wings and the Rebel base. So, yeah, we've got some more figs coming in here. And then we move over, like, I was about to say we move over to this X-Wing, but it's stuff like this that I was quite proud of myself building. Um, just from the top mid, uh, you know, a little couple of pictures on Google, thinking, oh, you know, how, what sort of like interior do the Rebel base have and some sort, obviously it's so different to what the Imperial, um, Imperial would have in their like hangars, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. So move over to Luke's X-Wing coming in. Um, that's all parked up. Sorry, there's three strikes in this actually. I will, at the very end of the video, I'll show you them all, but you know, Chuck down in the comments at any point at what time did you see the easter egg and uh yeah just a cool little game to play while i've built this mock so luke's coming in well he's about to get in the x-wing fly out for a little mission that's really cool got a couple of rebel uh troopers running through basically to tell princess leia some news um which i'll go on to in a minute so got a little r2 droid again coming down here and then some little bits of machinery coming out of the ground. You know, Rebel Hangar, they're quite messy, so I have just chucked a few little bits here. But yeah, again, base plate was gonna go under there and there was gonna be one here, but I've just done this for now, just to, just to make it a little bit, you know, blend it, just make it a little bit more better for the end of the video. Um, there is a scene, I can't remember which uh, Star Wars it's from, but. Chewbacca's doing some work in the Millennium Falcon and Han Solo chucks up to him, chucks up to him, to, uh, shouts out to him and uh, yeah, so I just recreated that. I thought that was quite a cool little scene. Um, yeah, we've got R2-D2 and C-3PO back there. And then we have the 
this is what I first started on, as you can tell from part one, part two. Um, I went out and bought these translucent pieces. I think they were like a couple of pence each. And I was just like, oh yeah, it'd be cool to build like a little, you see it in half um, before it starts getting bombarded with 8080s. Um, they're in this little hanger bit with all these little, uh, you know, like screens, if you want to call them that. So I thought I'd recreate that in my own, like how it would look. Um, obviously the height of this muck is the issue as well. So this is why I've built up some like little pillars, antennas and satellites and stuff, just to give the muck a little bit more height. Um, you know, realistically your roof would be, you know, way up there so the ships can fly out. But again, to build absolutely everything, you're looking at hundreds and I'm just not putting that into a muck, unfortunately. Not yet anyway, maybe in the future. So we've got Princess Leia just about to receive some news from the Rebels and their discussion, their next plan on how to get out of here before they're invaded by the Empire. And yeah, that is absolutely everything. That, that's my favourite part of the mark. And then I'd probably say Luke's and then this little section here with the X-Wing and just this little bit. You can tell that when I first started this mark, I was like... As I was building it, I was putting a lot into it, hence with these. And then it went over to this bit, and then it died off around here. And then <laughs> this bit, I just went, yeah, just to finish the mark, I'm going to chuck a couple of pieces down there and uh, call it a day, unfortunately. But one day, I will, I promise I will get back into it and I will do something amazing. Um, you know, save up a good couple of hundred pounds and, yeah, fully go out. You know, I do, I go for a lot. I go to like two or three conventions um, a year, so you know a goal would be to build a muck where I can actually go and display it, which would be absolutely wicked. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit back a little bit and I'll basically just show you the whole muck as a whole. I mean, like I said, this has took me well part one, part two, and now part three. I did do some tonight. I did that bit over tonight. Changed a bit over there. Um, laid that out and built something over there. Um, hint, little Easter egg. Um, yeah, so it's taken me a while. I've put a lot into it. I'm quite happy with how it looks, to be fair. Like, you know, this is my first ever muck. When you look at it, you know exactly what, um, you know, what you're seeing. Yeah, you know it's a rebel hanger and... <laughs> Yeah, so it's, you know, I'm quite proud of myself with it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And I'm about to show you the free Easter eggs that I've popped in. Um, good luck to the people that had already commented where they'd found them. Uh, good eyes, but I did try and give a little couple of hints, but we'll start with the most like boring one. Um, I popped a little Stormtrooper helmet down here. Um, he had obviously just been thrown out in the garbage and left in the corner, like he was a uh, nobody, just a little trooper helmet. And then actually, this is one of my favorite ones, is I built this droid myself. Um, I've called it L3GO. Um, if you wanna translate that, it's, it says Lego, basically. So I built that out of my, uh, my own pieces and out of my own mind, which I thought was quite interesting, quite a cool little unique droid. And then the most important one, which I put out on TikTok that I just built it and it actually blew up with over 20,000 uh, views and hundreds of comments and likes, which is quite cool. I built a mini kit and I've hid it in this little, um, at, at first it was on the table here, pardon me. Um, but I ended up building like this little enclosed, yes, I have done some illegal building. Um, again, that was done tonight when I, didn't have much time yeah that was so much harder um to get that out of that little contraption over there so i've paused it and rebuilt it because yeah it fell apart but yeah this is my little mini kit um it's not absolutely perfect because i didn't have the correct top piece and the correct bottom piece um it's meant to be like a curved bottom and then a flat top but yeah i didn't have that piece so i built it with what i had and I think it looks quite cool, actually. Um, I'll put that down there. So, yeah, that is goodbye to the first ever mock. And hopefully, 
one day in the future i'll be building another one making it a lot better but for now i want to concentrate on building a rebel fleet and displaying it over there so i've got the let me just shine some light over there so i'll have like the imperial fleet in the corner the rebellion re rebellion yeah the republic fleet in the corner there um empire and i'm going to move all this stuff and that'll be full of the millennium falcon rebels x-wings a-wings etc when my other one comes which will be really really cool so yeah i think that's what i'm going to stay doing um because i enjoy it more and at the end of the day yeah this is this was good but it wasn't as enjoyable as i thought it would be um i did start to lose my patience with it um unfortunately but you've got to do what you love doing so yeah i'm gonna carry on building and displaying sets and making them look cool on display um but i have a couple more videos coming out soon um i'm going to a lego brick festival convention in birmingham in may um and then i'll be going to the lego shop after that to look at all the new may um you know all the may sets that have come out like the may wave um so that, that'll be pretty cool so i'll be filming that and then whatever else i can get my hands on and film then i'll be doing that but thank you for watching part one part two part three um in the meantime go check out all the rest of my videos uh let's get some likes comments and thumbs up on there i'm doing really good with a thumbs up to be fair most of it most videos 100 percent, which i'm quite happy about so yeah thank you for the support as always um Sorry that I didn't sound enthusiastic, but I'm ill. I wanted to get this video done so I can, oh, it's gonna upset me, but yeah, I'm gonna destroy all this and, you know, display it better over there. But yeah, thank you for continuous support and go check out the TikTok, face, Facebook? I don't have Facebook. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Cheers.